my name is Sandy. Welcome to my beauty channel. I, I will be talking to you about my eyeshadow palette slash face palettes. Basically my palette collection. That's what I'll be doing. So let's just get started. Um, first palette that I have here. This is the Sephora palette in the Rio collection. Um, I don't know if they still have this. But they came out with like four of them. This was one of them. So yeah. Um, I enjoy the bronzer in this. The colors are coconut milk, shamate, shamate, aqua, tropical bird, and enjoy the sunset. Enjoy the sunset. It's a bronzer, but it's no. Um, do I recommend it for fair skin tones? Yes. Next palette that I truly recommend. It's from the drugstore. And this is the Milani Earthy Elements. The brush came out. Earthy Elements Everyday Eyes Eyeshadow Collection. They came out with four of four. Five. And I got this one. The warm tone, obviously. And I got this one, and it's super awesome. Do I recommend it? Yes. Is the pigment is the pigment right? Yes. Is the price is right? Is the price right? Yes, it is. So what could you go wrong? Blendability, top notch. This palette here is one of my top favorites not my most used palette at the moment but definitely one of my favorites i got this off aliexpress these gold these blues um this black they are everything i will show you this swatch because of how amazing this eyeshadow palette is they blend awesome they're super great colors yeah. do i love it yes do I use it often? No, because it's not one of my more like more used palettes. Like it's not two were like my favorite transition shades for a time, but then I realized they were more gray on the neutral side. But do I love the do I love this palette? Yes, I do. Um, would I recommend it? Yes, I would. Um, yeah, the gist is a little messy, but I love it nonetheless for the pigmentation and the blendability. Top notch. Next are my Coastal Scents individual eyeshadows. I bought this. Um, I bought the palette separately and then the eyeshadows individually. Um, one of my favorite, some, I will point out some of my favorites for you. Barista, Timeless Taupe, Olive Wood, Dark Golden Olive, Kodiak. Um, the metallics are great. The mattes, kind of, like this Barista shade is bomb. Like, it's up there with one of my favorites. But this color right here is not true to its color. It com comes off more brown than it does on the pan. But yeah, these are some of my favorites. My favorite are these three in the corner, which is Olive Wood, Dark Golden Olive, and Kodiak. I love them so. Next is one of my top, 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 up there. Like, this is the Tartlet in Bloom. I'm sure this is up there for, like, everyone. This bottom row and these three. Bomb. Um, they're most of my favorites. Like, it smells like cupcakes. Like, one out. But yeah one of my favorites i truly recommend the price is a little up there but i mean you get you get 12 shot eyeshadows palette is the sephora ombre obsession this is like their holiday kind of a palette um you cut you get bronzers you get highlighters you get blushes it's basically an all-over kind of a palette right here have a this is great to travel but you can just take this in your bag you got the highlighter there you got these beautiful bronzers um you have this a nice selection of blushes you can just chuck this with you it's kind of rather large i do admit it's rather large like this just stuff in your bag like for touch-ups i do realize that but really awesome my next palette is one of my top favorites at the moment i'm pretty sure it's everyone's top favorite at the moment because it is warm toned i mean who doesn't love warm tones these is the modern renaissance palette by anastasia beverly hills and i have used all of them i've loved i love all of them i've created so many looks on them check my instagram which is makeup by sandy f um and you will see that i did do a look with, with some of these um an antique bronze type of look with this um using antique bronze as the main show as you can tell i unintentionally made it made that the name but yeah, love it. The price is right for me personally. Um, you get seven eyeshadow. You get fourteen eyeshadows. Um, this was my favorite for 2015, just because it's very 
I was very into cool tones in 2015. So this is the perfect palette for me. Um, it just, you, they're all mattes, which kind of sucks, but um, you get this beautiful black, you get this beautiful gray, all these browns that are very, very neutral toned. But yeah, you get these um, nice matte um, vanilla shades and these purple shades and yeah. Sorry. Um, my next one is my Benefit Real Cheeky Party Blushing Beauty Kit. And I freaking love this thing. I, have okay, I got my blush, I got my highlight, I got this, I got that. You know, and I did have come with mascara, an eyeliner, and a blush. I mean, a highlighter, which is Benefits. What's up? Benefits, they're real. And Benefits, um, eyeliner. Didn't really like it that much. It was kind of hard. At first, it was really, really easy once you got the practice. But when, when you don't use it for a while, it kind of, like, cranks itself. And so you lose a bunch of the product. Like, don't really recommend that for, like, a beginner because that would be really, really frustrating. Um, the mascara, I love. I have to go buy a full size soon because I love that one. And I have Benefit What's Up, and it's amazing. But yeah, these blushes are amazing. Um, you get Rockateur, you get Dandelion, you get Coralista, you get Sugar Balm with, with limited edition, I'm pretty sure. And then you get Hula. Now, my next palette is one of, another one of the drugstore. And this is the L'Oreal La Palette 2. La Palette Nude 2. And you get a variety of shades. You get purples, you get bronze, you get olives, you get everyday colors. Um, I recommend it. No, I would not. To be completely honest, no, you don't need this palette. Um, if you have any of the other palettes that I have, you don't really need this. But it is a good palette for beginners. I mean, it is an interesting. It got me out of my comfort zone. That's why I got it. It got me out of my comfort zone and allowed me to play with more of the olive, with more of the purples. In it. And also you do get um, tutorials on the back, so that's for anyone. And my last two are both ELF, and I have the Prism one, and I have the Need It Nude. Um, this palette was the, the Need It Nude was the first palette that I ever ordered online from ELF. Love this. I was worried that I would get it broken, stuff like that. I honestly don't like the last four shades. Because they're way too similar. Look at it. One has gold reflex. Another one is more shimmer. This one's more of a glitter. This one's just one shade lighter. But truly, to the naked eye, they all look the same. Um. Now, just ignore this. This could be a palette in itself, and I would still. But I love all of these shades. The gold, the rose gold. This shade was my favorite crease color for a long time. This one. And yeah, they were all super easy to blend. Super creamy, super buttery, except for those last four that I don't really use. And then this, as you can tell, made some deep dents. Oh, this one I hit pan on. And this was my favorite because this on top of um, NYX Eye Pencil in yogurt. So that was a combination that was so happy for me. Uh, the color itself was gorgeous. But yeah, never used the yellow. I used this one a lot, as you can see I have a hole, and then that one I just messed up because I dipped my angle brush with brow powder into that one. This was like, and I messed it up, but yeah. It, it is what it is. I still loved it. Still used it a lot. One of my favorites. And that is, oh no, 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 no. I also have individual eyeshadows. This is the Urban Decay um, mini eyeshadow. I don't know the name. I also have Meet Matt Trimini, uh, Matt Moskowitz. I don't know, but this is the that's this one from the Balm, and this is the name is Matt Moskowitz. So that's that one, and it's the perfect, the perfect deep purple, like this all over the lid, and then a warm shade in the crease. Milani Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadow in Bella Copper from Milani traditional bar of gold and it comes with so much product for three dollars and then I also have the elf brownie point smudge paint pot I chose sticks and they're both from Rimmel one is in bad girl bronze the other one is in bluffing and then I have a covergirl bombshell eyeshadow in platinum club so that is my palette collection yeah 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like. Give it a thumbs up. Um, that's the same thing. Um, comment what you would like to see next. And subscribe for more videos.